everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Now today, I'm going to be diving into the world of webinars and give you a beginner's guide on how to host both a live and pre-recorded webinar. So whether you're looking to engage your audience in real time or create a polished professional content to share out later, I've got you covered. Let's get into it. Now, first things first, what exactly is a webinar? Well, simply put, it is just a web-based seminar or presentation. And they're honestly used for a number of reasons. You can use them for a conference, an info session, a training, a product demo, you name it. And the thing that I love about webinars the most is they make accessibility easy. Not everybody has the physical or financial ability to attend a seminar in person, but in this case, you can engage an audience worldwide just from your computer. And you can craft a webinar in just a few steps. So first things first, you want to, of course, create your topic. You want to define your target audience. You want to make an invite landing page, gather all your filming essentials. And most importantly, you want to figure out which platform you plan to host your webinar on. Now, my preferred platform is Riverside, which also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Now, Riverside is a fantastic platform known for its high quality audio and video recording capabilities. And it has features that will help you both streamline and customize your webinar that I'll get into. And it's perfect for podcasters, video creators, and really anyone looking to host engaging webinars. So let's first look into how to set up a webinar. So step one is just to sign into your Riverside account. If you don't have an account, you can go ahead and just create one. It is quick and easy. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and land on that dashboard. Now, I'm going to create a new studio just for my webinars specifically. So now that I'm in my new studio, I can actually go and send an invite out to everyone that I want to participate in that webinar. You're going to have some options. So if you go to plan the recording, you're going to be able to see and click down and select guests that you want to invite. Now, your guests are going to be people like your presenters or your co-hosts, people that are actually going to be on camera. You can then send it to audience members, and those are the ones who are going to be watching your webinar. And then lastly, you can send it to the producer that can just help you with your like audio and visual throughout. So let's go ahead and we're just going to jump into the studio and get our webinar set up prior to actually going live. There's a number of features that you can take advantage of, so I just want to highlight some of my favorites. So first things first, and the thing I find clutch is you can add your notes or use the teleprompter feature just so you can stay on track during your webinar. These things have the potential to be long. Sometimes it's easy to forget what you're supposed to be talking about. So it's just a nice way for you to have your bullet points or the teleprompter. So that way you can kind of keep on pace and remember what you're supposed to be speaking about. Another thing that I like to give it a more custom feel is you can actually add your custom logo and brand colors to your webinar to display on the screen. So that way your business is always top of mind. Another new thing that they've created is just the ability to create lower thirds to engage with your audience. So you can use these to convey information directly on the screen and even link to anything relevant that you may be speaking about in the moment. I've made a couple kind of pre-templatized ones. So I have one for my website. I also have one for my remote online notary course that I can go ahead and just display on the screen for a given number of seconds so the audience can see it. And no matter where the audience is tuning in from, they will be able to see these. So if there's any audio or video files that you wanna share throughout the webinar, you can go ahead and actually pre-upload those. That way they're easy to access during the webinar itself. And you can even pre-upload presentation slides depending on which account you have. So now we have to talk about my favorite feature. Now Riverside actually allows you to live stream your webinar directly on Riverside, but you can also live stream it on your favorite social media platforms. So you can go ahead and live stream directly on platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok. And to do this, all you need to do is connect your Riverside account to your preferred streaming platforms. And once you go live, Riverside will automatically start a live stream on those various platforms. So you don't even need to go in one by one and do it. Once you're already set up, as soon as you go live, now you're streaming to various platforms, which makes it even easier to expand to your audience. So once you've actually pressed record and now you're officially in your live session, Riverside has a number of ways for you to actually manage that session. So of course, you can go ahead and you can share your screen. You can invite more guests. You can use the chat feature to interact with your audience seamlessly. Now, let's talk about the chat feature a little bit. So if you are streaming to multiple platforms, so let's say you're using four or five different platforms, there's going to be people watching on those various platforms that are going to have 
questions. And you're gonna want one place for you to be able to manage all of those questions. Well, now Riverside has an OmniChat feature that allows you to seamlessly have all the questions in one place within the Riverside platform. The great thing about it is you can actually see which platform that question came from. You can even add those questions directly to the screen for a live Q&A so people actually know which question you are addressing. And so it just makes it really easy to manage everything all in one place. Now we just spoke about live webinars, so let's go ahead and pivot to pre-recorded webinars. Now this is perfect for anybody who wants to create a polished and professional video prior to sending it out to their audience. Let's be clear, not everybody wants the pressure of having to speak live. Now in terms of hosting a pre-recorded webinar, for the most part, the steps are the same. The only difference is you're not going to send out that audience link for people to watch as you're doing the recordings. Instead, you and your guest will film the webinar privately, you know, edit it, clip it up how you see fit, and then send it out to your audience at a later time. And remember, after every recording is done, both your audio and video files for both you and your guests, as well as any presentation or media files will automatically be uploaded. And this is clutch for any post-production editing that you need to do. So once your recording is done and the videos are uploaded, you can actually edit it directly in Riverside. If you don't wanna do that, you can even download the files to your preferred editing software. And some of the things that I really like about the editing app within Riverside is you can get AI transcripts, you can customize the video to pick how guests are displayed in the video. You can add captions and they have this thing called magic clips. And what it does essentially, it instantly creates like short form clips of the best moments for you to be able to share on your various social media sites. And there's even a button to get rid of like awkward pauses. So it just makes editing incredibly streamlined. Now, after editing, you can upload your webinar to your website, YouTube channel, or any platform you like. Hosting a webinar, whether live or pre-recorded, is honestly a great way to engage your audience and they provide you with real-time interaction and just some valuable content for you to be able to share with your audience. Now, if you are looking to try Riverside, you can actually try it for free using the link in the description and the comment section. And if you did want to get one of those paid plans, you can enjoy 15% off using my code Side Hustle Seattle. But that is the end of the video. Hopefully you learned a little bit about how to host pre and live recorded webinars and some of the benefits of hosting them. Anyways, thank you as always for watching my channel. Interested in all of your comments and feedback below. I'll catch you in the next one.